This next question is about how much wattage you need for your particular setup. Before I answer this question, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com where we are having a giveaway. If you want to enter it, head over and click on the giveaway link that is at the top right hand corner of the site. This is a question that's asked a lot and a lot of people worry when they're purchasing a power supply, you know, what wattage should I get? Because, well, I don't really know, you know, all the wattages for every single component in the computer system and a lot of people guess and sometimes well they're getting a power supply that is not going to provide enough you know wattage for their setup and that's no good at all so how do you determine how much wattage you need well you can search for an online power supply calculator just google it you'll find lots of them but you can use extreme dot outer vision dot com if you want to and that's an excellent power supply calculator you'll see it there on that site again extreme dot dot com now when you're purchasing a power supply don't cheap out it's very important to get a brand name power supply something that you know is going to last for a number of years from a company that will service it and warranty it if anything goes wrong because you know you do not want a power supply to fail to be honest to begin with and if it does you want it to be replaced as soon as possible so get a brand name power supply and you know don't go cheapo on that uh, component of your computer system because to be frank that is one of the most important parts of your computer system a lot of people just completely and totally uh, overlook it now the power supply calculator will tell you how many watts your system will consume but you want to go a little bit above that because you know you can run into peak wattages spikes so I would recommend going 50 to 100 watts beyond what a power supply calculator recommends. If the power supply calculator says that your system is going to consume 600 watts, get a 650 or a 700 watt power supply. Again, get a quality brand name power supply. I'll mention a few names. Corsair, OCZ, Seasonic, Thermaltake, Antec, Silverstone. Just a few of them. There's many brand name companies out there. A lot of these companies, Enermax, will, for example, back your power supply for a number of years. If something, God forbid, goes wrong, they can get it fixed, replaced, ASAP. A lot of them have no hassle power supply policies as well as warranties that they just swap them. You know, they have a power supply to you the next day or the same day and you want to keep that in mind because you do not want your system down especially if you're in an office environment now if you couldn't be bothered using a power supply calculator and you just kind of want to guess it which I would not recommend typically this is for most of us you have you know standard gaming rigs nothing super extreme nothing really totally hardcore but average then in that case, a 500 to 700 watt power supply would do fine. If you're going a bit more hardcore, maybe a higher end video card, you know, dual GPU, a bit more hardware, think about a power supply that's around 800 watts. If you've gone completely insane and extreme, multiple video card setup, lots of other hardware, then select a power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. So, what else should you be looking for in a power supply? Well, it needs to be efficient. You really need to get a power supply that meets all the ATX and other current standards, over voltage, under voltage, and other protections. Get a power supply that has APFC or active power factor correction. Also consider a power supply that is at least 80 plus. I would recommend gold, if not gold, silver, but I go gold plus certified. You can go with, you know, NVIDIA and AMD certifications as well. That's not such a big deal unless you're going multiple video card setup. Also consider a power supply that has a 
modular design because I find you you know only need to use the cables that you require for your setup and it just frees up a lot of space inside of the case it looks neat and you can get more airflow inside of the case also think about getting a power supply and most of them do that are brand name that have Japanese capacitors because they're much much better than you know other capacitors that are out there they're going to provide clean quality power in any case I hope this answers your question and remember if you have a question for me head on over to 3dgameman.com and post it in the forum I will post a link below to this video and you can head on over if you want to uh, you know make a comment if you have also some recommendations or questions about you know what size power supply that you should get for your particular setup.